Hi, this is Len Suzek, and I am your faith coach. Um, just talking today about stuff that I'm going through spiritually with um, with my spiritual journey in faith. And I figure if it's happening to me, it might be happening to you, things that you need to know. So that's what I want to talk about. So um, this is about the things that I have um, learned and then somebody coming against those things that I've learned and I know to be the truth and I get, I've gotten a few times in the last couple days what I, what I, I would say, um, what amounts to me having to refuse information that's incorrect in my belief. And it's gotten me into some not arguments because it stopped you know every, there was a fence really and and andrew womack talks about that you know not letting things come into your heart that are damaging and you know that don't just be polite and allow people to talk about stuff that you know isn't true so one thing is for instance if somebody starts talking to me about a horror movie and in detail, I'm like, I've already told you I don't want to hear this stuff. Now, you are, I don't want to say offending me, but I'm going to have to be a little rude and stop you or walk away. And so we could call it walk away. I've done a lot of walking away lately in the last couple of days. I'm getting really strong in my faith, I think is what I'm saying. So, um... Somebody brings up unbelief in the matter of um, things that I've I've just I've decided, you know, to me with the Lord, like um, I've told you before about my for one of my first known miracles that I did by faith was about allergies, allergies to me don't come from pollen in the air and I'm not going to sit by and listen to somebody I'd try to educate me or, or give me information even though they don't mean anything by it so that's what I have to get a little better at but sometimes it's just a matter of having to be rude because my faith is you have to realize your heart is kind of fragile but it it it's, it's never going to be okay to let people talk to you about stuff that's not true. Like, um, it says guard your heart. So this is part of guarding your heart, right? Um, so I, I, the things that I believe are true passionately and, you know, that like God has shown me, it would be so wrong for me to sit and listen to somebody tell me the opposite you know, so let's just say, let's talk about, um, I was just saying about horror movies. Okay, so that's one thing, fear. I'm not gonna listen to somebody talk about um, what happened in a horror movie and putting that into my, you know, now I gotta deal with that image, you know. Um, I'm not going to talk about how much it, damn it, it's, it's not good for us to use the microwave or all these specific limitations on food because food isn't really my, where my life comes from, although I'm okay with supplements and you know I do use them and believe they're helpful I'm not against them but I'm not gonna get so far into nutrition that I am thinking about food and limiting and just being super controlled by this uh, belief like yeah it's just it gets me upset and gets me angry like okay so there's certain things I'm just not gonna talk about and my my immediate surroundings have to learn I put up my hand like I'm gonna walk away now so that I am not looking like or seeming like the argumentative one they have to realize I'm walking away from what you're saying I, I don't want to talk about that 
I'm guarding my heart from something I think is un unbelief and damaging. <laughs> you, and then it's usually offensive because it's coming from a spirit to me. They usually have a spirit that's, that's coming at me and I don't like it and then I stop it and they get offended and upset because there's a spirit behind them, behind what they're saying, you know, that they're believing. So, oh, again, with the allergies, that's my first miracle. So I, I used to think, you know, allergy season, po po uh, pollen coming off the trees and stuff. Well, I thoroughly have told people what I believe because I, I was cured of allergies by not believing in, by rebuking them. And um, they stopped coming. And then whenever they did come again, you know, itchy eyes, runny nose, um, the works. <laughs> The waterworks and um twice a year and i don't have them anymore august and in, in spring i used to have them in spring what is it march april you know i'm not getting that okay and if somebody if i say i'm having a little something happening to me like hives you know hives could be a reaction to being um upset you know thinking whatever you're go what's going on in your head can manifest and start you itching and fears you know anxiety something happening in your life right now you have to figure out you could you could start to get uh manifestations of things or you could just rebuke it probably right so i i don't care um but nobody's going to tell me but maybe you have seasonal allergies right now because um you know pollen in the air and stuff i'm like Okay, I'm gonna walk away now. I tried to stop it, but they decided to keep going with um, looking it up on the internet. And I said, okay, I'm out of here for a few minutes. I am guarding my heart. This is called guarding your heart. Um, allergies, um, food uh, issues that I think are get, get, cause limitation and to, total focus on food. Um, uh, horror movies. Okay, those are three things I mentioned, and then um, and then those are just examples of things. I'm, I'm okay. It's, and if you talk to me about <laughs> politics, you know I'm extremely far right, and you can't. Don't even start. Or I'll get upset. So ah, that's another thing. I'll be like, I won't talk to you about my side if you don't want to hear it. And I'm not going to listen to yours. You know, like I've heard, it. I've heard it. I I already get how you feel, about it, how people feel about it. You know, um, but that's that's just a stopper. Okay, you need to have a stopper of what you feel is bad information. If you've made a decision, right, you have a right. To stop listening to the information you already know have heard before and decided that's not true and even somebody that i feel like maybe what is in danger um through deceit and i say to that person i think that might be a very dangerous thing that's going on with you and they try to can show me why they think it's true and i go well okay I don't want to, I understand that you believe it's true, but don't try to convince me and I'm just gonna, you know, just stand back and pray. And I don't want to hear what is, uh, why you think it's true when I, I just don't want to, you know, be like, now you're gonna involve my possible, you know, belief in something that I, I don't wanna, it's a spiritual decision. These are spiritual decisions and and um, very, very powerful. And the reason I'm bringing it up is because once I started making this maybe strong decision in the last few days, like a few times, you know, there's been explosive, you know, like very short, uh, I, I don't even want to call it an argument. It's just been, you know, people getting upset. And um, I have to stop myself from being upset but the other people are going to have to be upset because I am going to just let people know I've already asked you not to talk about that for a reason. And now if you bring it up, I'm just going to let you know I don't want to talk about it. And if you keep going, I'm out of here. And that is 
strong. That's not, you know, I don't know what people want to call. I'm, I'm not going to have push my opinion on you if you don't want to hear it. But I'm telling you, I'm not going to listen to certain things that I've decided are, you know, from me and the Lord, that those things are are bad for me to hear. I got to be, you know, guard your heart, for goodness sake. Amen. And uh, these are strong decisions in keeping, um, preserving your faith in the right way, places. This is called preserving your faith. Amen. <laughs> Thanks for listening.